You're watching News 19 at 11 with J.R. Barry and Andrea Mock. Sometimes there is nothing better than a little country cooking, and that's mm. where we find ourselves for this week's Golden Spatula. In fact, Jenny Wurtzberger traveled to my neck of the woods to hand out this week's Golden Spatula. Tonight's Golden Spatula brings us to Ginyard Diner in Sumter, and I'm joined by one of the owners, Wayne. Thank you so much for having us. Thank you. Good old country cooking is what you guys are all about. Indeed. And tell me a little bit about your restaurant. Uh, we, we're open Monday through Friday, breakfast and lunch, uh, 6 until 2.30. And one thing that I noticed when people come in the door, most people are known by name. Yes, very local crowd. That's awesome. And that you guys are this week's Golden Special Award winner. Congratulations. And I hear you had a couple 99s, but never have had 100. So this is a big deal. One. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, we're going to take a look at some of this food here in just a second. But first, you guys take a look at this week's highest and lowest scores. We begin in downtown Columbia at Monterey Mexican Restaurant on Senate Street. They scored a 78 on their routine DEC inspection. They were cited for potentially hazardous food being held at improper temperatures, five chemical bottles not labeled, and aprons heavily soiled that were hung up to use again. They scored a 100 on their follow-up inspection. Schooner's Bar and Grill on Bush River Road in Columbia also scored a 78 on their routine inspection. Food inspectors found an employee eating in the kitchen, raw meats not separated by species or from ready-to-eat foods, and improper hand washing and glove use. A C has been posted due to failure to correct other violations. Another follow-up inspection is scheduled within the week. Now on to the Hall of Fame. Gourmet International on St. Andrews Road in Columbia scored a 100. The subway on Augusta Highway in West Columbia was also perfect. And the Strawberry Patch in Winsboro rounds out our Hall of Fame with a 100 as well. Enjoy. And tell me how long you guys have been open. Uh, July will be 12 years. And a lot of the employees have been here since the beginning. Well, we have three, three or four that have been here since day one. All right, let's talk food. Uh, today we are, we're serving backbone and rice in the old country staple. Uh, we have green beans, collards. We also have red chicken stew along with macaroni cheese, field peas. And for the lighter, for the lighter fare, we have salads. And what's one of your personal favorite dishes here? Uh, the red chicken stew. Now, for breakfast, if I'm coming for breakfast because that's my favorite meal of the day, what should I get? Omelette. An omelette. Okay, I'm going to get an omelette. And J.R. Berry gave this the thumbs up, so you're, you're good. Oh, J.R.'s the man. <laughs> <laughs> Did you hear that, J.R.? You are the man. That's what he said. Uh, All I, right, that's it from here at Game Yard Diner. Back to you. J.R. paid him not. to say that. I did not. I, 20 I, bucks. You slipped him it under your yeah. last bill there. It's actually 10, but I, did, I didn't do that. <laughs> I love the Game Yard Diner. Yeah. My daddy uh, used to Aww, love that place. Oh, that's sweet. We would meet there and have lunch. What was his favorite there? Uh, Country-style steak, the hamburger steak. Mm, By the way, it's 19 this. after. All right. 19 after. It is 19 after. We are going to announce the lucky winner of our iPad tonight. It is from Kershaw County. Congratulations goes out to Tony Bagwell. You have won the latest iPad. We would love for you to drive to WLTX. Come see us tomorrow and mm -hmm. pick it up. And if you did not win tonight, don't worry. You still have some chances left. You have to like us on Facebook first and register. All right. So Tony Bagwell. You know who else likes the Ginyard Diner? Who? Bobby Richardson. He's a Sumter baseball legend. He played second base for the Yankees. And you can catch Bobby in there quite Any frequently. Any night of the week, that's so cool. He's there a lot. The smallest places are normally the best. Yeah. Oh, yeah. More attention. A lot of good places here in South Carolina. <laughs> okay, we are finally seeing our 80s that we have been waiting for. Yeah, kind of warm outside, isn't it? Mm -hmm. well, it's going to be like that again tomorrow. Today, we got up to 86 degrees here in Columbia. 